Hi, and welcome to my channel in this video. For those of you who are new here, people call me M and I identify as a grey airways. My mission with this channel is to educate the world on everything aromatic and asexual. As chosen by my followers on Instagram, the topic of today's video is Ways to show off your ace and arrow pride. In this video I'm gonna go through some of the more common ways to show off your pride, both for clustered and open arrows and aces. I've tried to find the products mentioned on Amazon and Etsy, since they are a bit all over the place and ship worldwide. I will show some of my personal favourites on screen. Notice though that I don't have most of these items, so I can't vouch for their quality. Links to the products will be in the description if you want to check them out. First things first, a flag. There is no official aromantic flag, but this is the newest flag design. And this is the asexual one. The colors meanings are as follows. Black, asexuality. Grey, grey A and demisexuality. White, sexuality. Purple, community. You can hang it up on a wall, wear it as cape or hang it if, up your flagpole if you have one. It's not very discreet, so it might not be anything for you if you're clustered it. There are plenty of flags both on Amazon and Etsy with different sizes and locations for store. Meaning you can easily find one close to you so you don't have to pay a butt for shipping. Something a bit more discreet is the Asian arrow rings. The arrow ring is a silver or white ring, usually around your left middle finger, and the ace ring is a black ring, usually around your right middle finger. This is easily the most common way to show off your pride in the community, since both closeted and open people can wear it without being too obvious to others what it means. I am myself wearing an ace ring, and no one has ever recognized it as a symbol for asexuality. The reason why I want to wear it is because it can be hard to live in such a sexualized and romanticized world being airways. And it's a constant reminder that what I'm feeling is real, that I'm valid, and that I'm not alone with this experience. Once again, you can find a lot of different black and silver rings both on Amazon and Etsy. Regarding symbols, anything with an arrow could be used to show off your arrow pride, since an arrow is a common symbol for arrows. The ace equivalent is ace of spades. Combine these with green and purple accordingly, and it's a great way to subtly show off your pride. You could also start wearing a lot of purple or green. It's a simple way that's not too obvious to anyone but yourself. If you're feeling a bit wild, you could buy shirts with black text to let everyone know that you're at all ways. These are some of my favorite designs. If purple or green isn't your color, maybe pins, badges and patches fit your style better. This is personally my favorite way to show off my era and ace pride. The reason why I like it so much is because even when I was clustered, most of these designs could fly under the radar. These moth pins, for example. If you don't recognize the color scheme as their arrow and its flag, they just look like cute alternative moth designs. Or maybe necklaces and bracelets are more your groove. Once again, you could sm buy smaller things no one but yourself would recognize as arrow or raise pride. Or go all out and wear things anyone could recognize. Something a bit more odd is the banded amethysts. If you like rocks and gems, this is for you. It looks like this, and it's basically an ace flag in stone form. It's very cool and easy to carry around in your pocket or display in your room. You can also easily write it off as liking for stones if you cross it and someone asks. How do you show off your arrow and ace pride? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you have any questions regarding aromanticism, asexuality, or anything in between, feel free to reach out to me. Links are in the description. If you want to help me choose the topic for next week's video, make sure you follow me on Instagram. That was everything for today's video. Now I'm gonna go and spend all my money on more Aero and A stuff. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you the next time. Bye!